Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and welcome to some more Dragon Blaze. Uh, I just finished my, you know, whole daily dungeon run and everything. Once you completed these three, I did this just because I needed the essence off of it. So, yeah. Wait, what did I say? Okay. I don't know if that's supposed to change. Supposedly, it's not permanent price. So, what are we doing today? First, we got a bus. Oh, yeah, I do have Belle now. I just got her today just to try her out. So, let's get started and see how this goes with this team. See if anything changes. Here's our score from last week. Looking forward to see how it does now. Alright, we're getting a lot of damage real quick. I don't know who Bell summoned now. Can't really see it through, through like all this chaos right now. But, you know, I've been farming a lot today. Been trying to level up my team. I wasted a whole bunch of gold and a whole bunch of rubies. So I bought some more gold. I wasted some rubies on some slots. And it's just been through that whole process. From what it looks like right now, it looks like they fixed guild loot to where you can actually finish it. Well, mid to low level guilds can actually finish it now. Um, as for Guild Siege, I think they're going to fix that as well, which I hope they don't. Because Guild Siege, the way it was, um, it was actually way better. Just because it was so much fun when it lasted longer. Instead of like, you know, just mowing through it through like, I guess, five minutes or so. Less than that, maybe. I think this one lasts for at least 30 minutes or close to an hour. Which was, I gotta say, a lot better. Alright, Jesus, we are passing our score a lot. But I would love if comments were still here. Now I'm gonna try and match up how much score I have by putting my own commas in my head. Which really does suck. The RNG here is really nice. Even with Bell. wonder how much damage uh, Llewellyn is doing now that we have like basically three buffers or actually four buffers but you know that doesn't count uh, Llewellyn since she's using her physical bullets instead of her magical bullets I keep forgetting that Llewellyn is magic and physical depending on how many enemies there are since I pretty much replaced a couple of people inside of my um, team it seems like it's working out pretty nicely. I will be working on Bell and, um... What's her face? It's Foxy. That's what I'm going to work on now. Then after them, I'm going to work on Gala. Then Falcon. Those are the main priorities right now. Actually, no. That can't be the main priority. Because Chrome is supposed to be coming, like, really soon. So it will probably be... Huh, I'll probably have to wait off Gala a little bit longer. Because whenever Prone comes out, I'm definitely gonna scrap everything and work on him. Oh no. Bell isn't quite the predicament without a healer right now. I think she just summoned a healer. I don't see him. Or her. Oh, it's our um, Encanter that's healing everyone. Okay. I think we're going to survive the 10 minutes, though, because we don't have any, like, real sustain. Which is unfortunate. But this is just pretty much a test team. Because not everybody's max or ultimate. I'm going to at least try to get Bell to ultimate. Well, no, to max. My Encanter is now plus 7. And rip poor Bell. We knew her well.
I wonder how this team would have done with Foxy instead. I feel like it would have been quite the nice comp. I think we did a real good job of passing our score. I don't think this is our high score, is it? If this is our highest score, then yeah, we're doing like way better. Not bad without a healer. You see, I'm healing a little bit. Our nurse is trying to keep us alive. <laughs> as much as she can. I don't think it's working out. Alright, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yep, that is a high score. Sweet. Alright, he's doing a little bit better. Alright, you guys can finish me off now. wonder what happens if I replace Llewellyn with Foxy, though. That's kind of what's having me think, like, real hard right now. How much would that be? I'm going to test it after, like, this video. Just to see how well it does. Alright, finisher, please. We gotta move on. Thank you. 13 strength buffs. Jeez. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Too bad Bell is kind of down there just because she's not, uh... Ultimate or max. That's why I like my build because it, it makes encounters like really strong. What else? We got arena. All right. We'll do arena after we do some of the story. So here's my build. If you guys are pretty curious about it, there's gonna be two, three, and one, and then there's. Two, three, and one. Mostly I have this just to buff the summons that come out. So I could go like a full encanter team and be like extremely powerful. But I am thinking about buying another page. Just to uh, grab another build, but that is quite a lot. I'm gonna wait until I start getting back to my normal amount of rupees. Because that is like way too much. Some people said they chose this one. Mostly for like bosses and stuff like that. Eh, I think that's really good for like um, Guild Adventure at least. So I'll probably make like a Guild Adventure page. Hmm. We'll have to see. So yeah, that's pretty much my whole setup. Alright, I already did a little bit of this place on stream, so if you guys want to rewatch that stream, the link is down in the description, and you guys can also find it by this title inside of my past streams. So let's get started. So we got to get all the way over there. So like always, I'm going to skip through, and I'll see you guys at the piece of story. Alright guys, we are here at the piece of story. Now if you guys are really new to the channel, this is how I usually used to do like story and everything. This is how I used to get through it. Just skip a little bit through like the unnecessary like parts. Then we just watch what goes on here. See that text lasts for so long. And this was going to last for a, quite a while, too. Oh, rip. Man, you guys are really weak. Alright. I'll do that. Why not? <laughs> I like how our character is so much of a dude. It's just like, there, there. It's all right. I got this. No worries. I got this. <laughs> uh, all right. 
Let's beat these guys and keep going. Gotta say, I'm kind of liking the story so far. Even though I still have a lot of questions in the head, you know. But it's all good. Man, that poor King Graham. He is now pretty much nerfed. But it's not like a... Well, I can't even say it's not like a stream nerf. He's still an alright meat shield. Let's just say that. You know what? I beat the rest of your friends. What makes you any different? That's the real question. I love her design. Like, she is straight sexy. Don't question me. <laughs> and this Aladdin wannabe, I swear to God. I don't know, he treated us like a douche when we first met, so. I mean, fair enough, we did come from another planet and evaded theirs. Technically. Yeah, I trust her. I just don't know where Prom and Hype are. Yeah, let's see what she has to say. How can you not trust thickness on a horse? Just saying. Yeah, we need to talk to her again. See what she says. Back to port we go. Well, I can say their knights are really, like, aggressive, but not Helios herself. I mean, we've been deceived, lied to, betrayed so many times down the story that it's not even surprising anymore. Like I said, back to port. We're gonna talk to Helios and see her opinion on this. I wouldn't even be surprised if Helios is like deceiving us. Like, how can you not trust thickness on a horse? Like, come on, man. I still like the red comet that's all the way in the background. And like, different chapters, it seems to get closer and closer. I like that effect. Alright, that is finished. Next. Could be. Alright, let's keep going. Like always, we're gonna skip ahead and I'll see you guys at the next piece of story.
been so long since I've done this. It's like really refreshing to get more story. All right, so next piece of story. You know what, we'll get back on the PVP train whenever we're done with the story, you know? So I'm gonna save off like all this PVP just until we're done. All right, all these weird enemies in our way. You gotta get them out of here. I think I'm mostly done with half of my folio. Well, I can't even say half. I'm pretty sure I'm good with like a good 80 to 90% of my folio. I just got a few more characters to actually get my hands on. All right. Yeah, I'm real powerful. Well, the combat looks like it's right here. About to slam it to us. <laughs> Where it's like, placed. Okay. Oh, what, what the fuck? Uh, that is not a comet. That is definitely a giant eyeball. This is weird. I feel like it's staring into my soul. I think we should have started with the prophecy conversation first. Okay, the text shaking is really annoying. To be honest, the text didn't need to shake with the screen. I could have done without that. And if it was just going to stop abruptly, then it, it should have just stopped after the first few shakes. Alright. That's the same thing we said. Hmm, Helios is even thicker when she's off the horse. Jeez. I get it, the schedule is today. Calm down. I mean, why would I lie otherwise? I just realized how huge her staff is. Like, her staff is so huge.
Ah, so basically this is pretty much Zelda all over again. <laughs> Stop the moon from crashing into your whole town and everything. Alright, you know what I've been interested in? Why don't those poor background characters here in Paladin Machine ever get a chance to, like, you know, get their face time? I feel bad for them. Alright, we're gonna do one more piece of story, then we're gonna end it off there, guys. So, I'll see you guys there. Alright, guys, let's get into this last piece. Ah, I want to see what happened next. You got the princess and Helios here. Oh, with the two brothers and her. You know, we could be running and talking at the same time. Doesn't seem like we're in much of a hurry. Alright, so it made all the uh, all the animals violent. Jesus Christ, those are some large dinosaurs. That's exactly what they look like, our dinosaurs. I just like the screen shaking. Can we not do that? Oh, there's an option just to turn that off. <laughs> I don't know. Some in a few games, shaking the screen works, but I don't feel like it works well in Dragon Blaze right now. That's just my opinion, though. Oh, there he is. I was about to say, it only has to be Odin. I got a question. Where's Odin's spear instead of his eye? Yep, and it looks amazing. Eh, maybe it could be. Why not try? I mean, the whole world is ending. Why not? Oh look, it works. What a coincidence.
So it only goes to the Titan Descent. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, it is the Titan song. Oh. Hello there. I love your mask. Okay, you just ate the eye like it was nothing. All right, bye. I like how we all didn't try to stop that from happening. You know, something of that size. Oh, so wait, hold on. Why would you want to test the strength of someone who descended, sung the song, now you have to fight? End of the world coming. I don't give a damn. You gotta fight for it. Alright. <laughs> All right, bye, Helios. I like the way you walk off, though. That part was kind of enjoyable. Oh, is that it for now? Yeah, that's it. So that's all of the story, guys. That's unfortunate. I thought that was just going to be... I didn't think that was going to be the end of it, but... Yeah, like everybody said, the story is actually pretty short. Like, only five minutes. Or probably seven minutes, depending on... If you like trying to mow through it. Oh, hiccup. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video. Then we'll get back into, like, arena and all that. But, until then... Peace out. Thank you.